Um, I'm going It's a weird thing being uh, stuck in between um, a bunch of different contexts, a bunch of different relationships and expectations from those relationships all at one moment. Um, uh, specifically when it comes to like playing a piano, I'm looking myself in the eyes. Specifically when it Jesus Christ, I don't want to look at myself right now. Um, my head hurts really bad right now. So, um, pretty much. In the context of you know, there's some people that when they, when you say you can play the piano, they expect you to play for release, <laughs> or they expect you to just hit the pretty notes in a bunch of random order. <laughs> and to me, it's like there's something, there's a lot more to playing the piano than just playing shit that people want to hear. You know, it's a, it's, it's not a skill, it's a communication. It's not, yeah, no, it's a communication of sorts. Like, it's not just about, you know, making songs that portray a good vibe. It's about making songs that communicate things. You know? And it's like, how the fuck are you gonna develop anything new when surrounded by people who think that the development of something new is pointless? Or is fruitless or will never occur and that's like such an easy contradiction to make because it's like well shit bro how do we get anything that we have now because it's not at all like things were fucking 100 years ago and we could say oh we developed it and we we innovated but nah bro some of that shit just came out of nowhere you look at the history bro some of that shit was literally just somebody was like hey what if we did this and then boom <laughs> that's how that shit that's how that worked so it's just like insane to me that I have to deal with the lack of faith in my ability to to create something the world hasn't seen before. Which is like something that's bound to happen. That's a function of originality. We are original in our own perception of things because the world is not simple, so simple that any one of us could comprehend all of it at once because it is far more complex than all of us combined, honestly. It helps us to behave as like eyeballs to, to take in the information and then try to piece it together into a more accurate and stable image of what's occurring. And it's like, you know, we have to be original in that regard because if we stay trying to see what was seen before, we're gonna be blind to what's happening today. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I have, it's just, I think it's a natural function. It's not some narcissistic pursuit of um, grandiosity. It's not some, it's not some aggrandization of my genius or some bullshit like that. It's literally, hey, this shit makes so, too much sense to me for me to ignore it just because you don't fucking understand it. And I'm going to keep pursuing it and find a way to communicate it to you. Because this shit makes sense regardless of what you say. And it continues to develop itself and it continues to to expose itself as being structured and having patterns. I'm not about to give this up just because you don't understand it. How many studies would have been abandoned just because people didn't understand it? Think about quantum physics, astrophysics, basically all the physics, <laughs> all the physics <laughs> would have been given up. And people were just like, hey, what the fuck? We don't get that. You know, when you look at quantum mechanics, I mean, quantum mechanics is hilarious because when you look at quantum mechanics, it's literally just 
people going, wait a minute, bro, this shit doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> like, after a while, it's it stops being rules and patterns, and it just starts being fucking arguments and debates, because people are just like, hold on, hold on, this contradicts everything. <laughs> so it's like, I have to keep doing what I do. It's a contribution, whether it's recognized or not. You know, I've run my experiments. I've, I've tried to measure my influence in isolated environments. I was on 4chan doing it for a while, seeing how long it would take for some of my ideas to infiltrate. I used I used really bad words. It makes it sound like, you know, an invasion or a virus. But I mean, on a mechanical level, we're, we're in, it's, it's an infiltration, uh, not an infiltration. It's a spreading. Either way, it's it's really all in the eye and the ear of the listener. If they want to hear me as if I'm doing something wrong, well, then they're just going to take my language and turn it into something bad either way. They're going to incontextualize everything I'm saying so that it sounds like I'm doing something wrong or messed up. But honestly, it was a fair experiment to run. I had ideas about hip-hop. Um, uh, primarily, one of the ideas were... Uh, One of the ideas was about um, how hip hop seems to be a a modern reduction of the wild western fantasy. How it appears that it's the same principle of being a being a loner bandit who um, who the world just isn't trying to protect or understand, and and having to go off and and, and solve your problems on your own. Uh, in this world that's, you know, dog eat dog, uh, shoot first, um, you know, all that shit. It's, it's a wild western fantasy. It took me, if I'm being honest, that idea, it fucking, it spread right away. Like, like I saw threads being brought up with their own interpretations of that idea within a month. Um, I mean, it was a basic experiment. Put in, you know, I had three ideas that I wanted to track the pressure of. Uh, communicate those ideas well enough that people could start formulating their own opinions of them and seeing how those ideas would affect everyone else's presentation or or response to the content that was being um, put on 4chan on, on the music thread on the music page or whatever and it was a pretty fair study I mean I found that it, it didn't take long I mean it took like at most it took two months before my it took two months before I could like definitively say okay no nah, that's me like that i see where that came from that's definitely me you know before then it was always just speculation and like well you don't know what if somebody else is thinking exactly the same thing that you are you know all those fucking boring ass detracting ideas and it's like well shit bro i was on this board for like four months before i started the project i didn't see anybody bringing this shit up so it's just one of those things where you know, people who don't understand what you're doing are always going to fucking find some easy way to doubt it. And it's like, you know, their, their way of doubting it is always a decontextualization. It's always a, yeah, but, you know, how do you know that this isn't just happening? And it's like, well, shit, bro, that's what I've been studying. That's what I've been looking into. So, yeah, I mean, it appears that, you know, whether I'm recognized for it or not, I I'm, I have an influence on things, and ideas do spread pretty pretty quickly. I mean, they affect people's conversations, and the people that talk how I talk, and there's a lot of people that talk how I talk. They're just not fucking you know, in front of everyone's face like I am. They're not they're not fucking, you know. You get killed for talking the way I talk. You know, not physically but socially. You lose your ability to survive. And so a lot of the kids that that talk the way I talk but don't don't fucking talk to everybody else about it doing what I do it's like bridging a gap between two parties two different islands and I mean that's always healthy as far as mending relationships and forging relationships in the community so So at the end of the day, 
I have to stay stuck in this, you know, perpetual state of everything you're doing is wrong. Even when, even when it makes sense, it's wrong. <laughs> and then I also have to manage this perpetual state of, bro, this is absolutely genius. Bro, what you're doing, bro, this shit is amazing. And I have to stay stuck in between the both of those, trying not to fall too far in either direction. But I think it's time for me to just start hanging out with the kids that think I'm a genius. <laughs> Because I fucking, the people who don't think I'm a genius are fucking unfair as fuck, bro. They're literally always like, hmm, even though I've never heard this before, I'm sure someone's done that already. <laughs> it's always the same shit, bro. It's just like some hypothetical, well, uh, I'm sure in some way you're still not fucking doing anything. <laughs> so it's just, it's just time to stop communicating with people that don't want to communicate. And then just go where where people are willing to give me the resources, where people are willing to support what I'm doing. And you know, the people that aren't willing to support would call me a manipulator. They would say I'm taking advantage of stupid people, which is pretty disrespectful. I mean, it's one thing to disagree with somebody's study. It's another thing to think, to, to claim that anybody who does agree with that study is just a moron that's being taken advantage of. That's fucked up. Like, get off your high horse. You're not, you're not that fucking smart. So, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to be in Corpus Christi this Friday. And I'm going to continue my study, you know. But this time around people who support it and are mesmerized by it and want to know more. Not people who are just asking me why I'm not doing what they think. You know, while I'm not following their stereotypes about what being a musician is, why I'm not trying to start shows, why I'm not trying to fucking get into the music scene in Houston. <laughs> well, the music scene in Houston, I hate to say this, but it is so fucking trash. Like, it is not fun. It is literally nothing but a competition. And it's not even like a genuine competition of musicality. It's literally just, hey, I look the more like what we think famous people look like. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing more what the people we think get famous for music do. <laughs> it's so fucking boring, bro. And it's not, it's not genuine. I want to be around people that are just trying to accomplish goals, not people that are trying to look like they've accomplished goals. So, honestly, I only made this video because I'm, I'm not picking up this thing with the piano as quickly as I wanted to pick it up. And so I know there are going to be a lot of discouraging thoughts, a lot of detracting arguments. And I just got to, you know, nip those in the bud before they get too far and, you know, start trying to present themselves as reasons I should give up or abandon this study. That's really how it is. Honestly, bro, if you just put the time into it, you'll get it. But you just got to get past that phase where all the reasons you can't do it start seeming like reasons you shouldn't try. And then you got to stop listening to people that don't even believe in you, which is something I do to this day. I still hear him out, and I had this really bad argument in my head for why it was a reasonable thing to do. I used to think, well, you know, whether they agreed with me or not, they must, you know, they have something, they're seeing something, there's a reason they're seeing what they're seeing. But, you know, the longer I got into it, the more and more I talked to people that just disagreed with me, the more and more it just looked like they just, they were just fucking disagreeing to disagree. They were just being contrarians, they were just doubting the doubt. Like, there was no premise behind why they didn't believe anymore. If everything you disprove, you know, the whole idea, you know, everyone has their own, like, idea of what being a musician is. They, they put their own kind of expectation on what it's supposed to be based on what they've experienced about it. And when you disprove that people's experiences are not all-knowing and are not a true depiction of how it's supposed to go, it turns into a different argument. And in fact, 
it got to a point, specifically on 4chan, it got to a point where they where people stopped presenting their arguments because they stopped. At this point, I feel like they didn't want anything else to be disproved. They wanted to just be able to continue doing what they did, regardless of whether it made sense or not. They wanted to continue saying, no, you shouldn't do that. No, you should make what I think you should make. No, you should fucking approach music this way. They wanted to continue to say that, even though it was proved that, you know, their perception of things was not ultimate. And once it got to that point, I mean, it was pointless to listen to anybody like that anymore, because it's like, hey, here we are actually presenting arguments. Here we are actually communicating ourselves in a very effective way. And here you are just saying, so, so, okay. Like, at some point, it's like you're not valid anymore. You have no real thing to, contri to contribute to the argument, to contribute to the discussion. It's just some, at some point, no one needs to listen to what you're saying anymore because you're not actually saying anything other than no. So, yeah, I mean, I've got all my reasons and justifications for moving on to the crowd that just supports me. I don't feel like I owe the crowd that doesn't support me anything. Because the crowd that doesn't support me is literally just like, Ugh, you're not like my favorite artist. You should just stop. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to keep doing what I do, and I can already see the context in which it's respected, and I I used to fear that the people that didn't want me to succeed were like actively always in this pursuit of trying to make sure no one else believed in my success as well, which is kind of a thing that I see. I mean, on 4chan, whenever I was supported, there was always like, a, like two or three guys that came and tried to bully the fuck out of anybody who actually had my back. <laughs> They would try to be like, oh, you're fucking crazy. Like, they would try to make them feel isolated and crazy. And, you know, it's all, it's in contextualization. It's presenting, it's constantly being in an active state of presenting the world as if it disagrees with what I'm doing. When it really doesn't. Rewriting the story on the spot. Constantly saying, uh, well, you know, nobody thinks that way. You know, always fucking creating a context on the spot that seems to disapprove of what I'm doing. Which is why I kind of don't like talk to storytellers anymore. I don't talk to people that are constantly saying what's going on. Because like, it's like at some point, you know, that's not necessary. At some point, it's not necessary to say what's happening all the time. At some point, it really does just start to feel like you're trying to spin what everybody thinks. Sometimes it's just like, you got to recognize that what you think is happening is what you think is happening. And you can explore it, <laughs> but if you're not good at communicating it, you know, you should really just figure out how the fuck to say it before you start trying to force everybody else to think it. And I think that's a big issue, is that a lot of people will stop worrying about communication and start using like pretty fucked up tactics to force their ideas on everybody. They started using bullying, isolation. I mean, they're pretty much just advanced forms of bullying. You know, making people feel like the world disagreed with them on the spot. Not actually presenting a real argument, but presenting the idea that so many people already disagreed with you that you were just wrong and should be quiet. That's that's what I noticed. There, there aren't any real debates being had anymore. It's just, all right, well, if that was the case, why do this? Why does this guy think this? All right, that's the case. How come I don't see anybody over here? You know, it's it's never really any discussion about the the topic at hand. It's a discussion about presenting, you know, presenting things as if they're actually being supported or if they're not being supported. And at that point, that's just a pointless discussion because people have incentives for supporting what they support. You know, the people who put money in the things have a reason for putting money into those things, and that's what we should be discussing. Why is what we're discussing worth putting money into? We shouldn't be discussing whether or not money is already being put into it. That's a fruitless topic. Like, that, that doesn't do anything. 
I mean, that's like the same thing as like, you know, I mean, there's so many, I could think of so many, it's just pointless either way. It's just the pointless thing, to, it's a pointless discussion to have. Every detractor to what I'm doing has no real point anymore. Other than a comparison to something that I'm not even trying to accomplish. I would much rather feel accomplished than I would have everybody else think I've achieved something. I would much rather feel like I've accomplished my goals than I would, you know, be famous for fucking doing the easy formula that's constantly being sold to me. You don't know how many people are like, bro, if you just did this, bro, you'd be famous, bro. Bro, if you just fucking did this right here, bro, you, bro, that would be it right there, bro. And it's like, well, shit, bro. Why the fuck? I, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, that right there is not what I'm trying to do. It is way more fucking valuable to communicate something to the world that it doesn't currently understand and to have it go, oh, fuck, yeah, you're right. That is worth supporting than it is to just fucking slide into the fucking slot that they have left available for you. And I'm already somebody that goes through what I go through. Like, I don't fucking care if everybody likes what I'm doing. If I don't fucking like it. If I don't fucking like it, it's not going to be done anymore. Like, the world could give me a million dollars for it. If I don't fucking like it, if it doesn't make me feel proud of myself, I'm going to fucking give up on it. Like, I'm not going to keep doing it. So it's just one of those things, you know, they say Dave Chappelle walked away from like six million dollars or something. And it's like, well, fuck yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you don't get famous because you found the formula. You get famous because you genuinely committed to it and you communicated yourself enough that people understood why you needed to be supported. Dave Chappelle walked away at the right time. He walked away at the right time. And then he came back to millions. <laughs> and controversy, obviously, but, I mean, that's just a part of the process of doing shit that people don't, you know, immediately understand. Every time you do or say something that people don't understand, they're always thinking that your goal is simply to sound smart. <laughs> and it's like, well, shit, bro, that's fucked up. That means that I can't say any, like, I have to know what you're thinking at all times. <laughs> or else I'm, I'm cons or I'm insulting you, and that's fucked up. I can't exist in that state. I refuse to exist in that state. And I gave myself to that state for a while, and it was not fun, bro. It was torturous. Because literally, there's nothing you can do right in that scenario. Being yourself is offensive in that scenario. Being someone who thinks different, being someone who thinks for themselves is offensive in that scenario. Being someone who has their own thoughts separate from everybody else is offensive in that scenario. So. It's just not fun. So I'm just gonna go where I seem to be supported. And you know what's fucked up? Is that it feels like the people that don't support me kind of made a real effort there to prevent me from getting to where I would be supported. Which is like a childish thing to do. Like there's a difference between disagreeing with somebody and then basically trying to foster their failure. Trying to 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 create the conditions for their failure. I mean, if someone was gonna fail, they would just fail without you having to really contribute to it. But someone trying to foster the conditions for your failure, that seems like someone's trying to prevent your success right there. That's the end of this video. I gotta go to the store and get me a honey bun and a Starbucks coffee. Starbucks coffee. <laughs>